Hi everyone. So I've got a bit of an issue here that my board isn't working properly. So we'll just give it a go, see how we do. So this is the there's that on there. there. So this is the third pack uh, for kinematics, and it's quite nice because we've kind of done it before. And it's the idea of if for instance I had my displacement S and I wanted to get to my velocity, V, because I know it's a change in displacement over time, it's ds by dt. So if I go that way, I can differentiate. So if I start off with a displacement, I can differentiate it to the velocity. And then, because I know that acceleration is a change in velocity with time, if I differentiate it again, I can get to the acceleration which means I can do the reverse. I can start with the acceleration and go back to the velocity by integrating it. And then I can start with the velocity and go back to the displacement by integrating it again. And if I had the velocity, I could differentiate it for the acceleration or integrate it for the displacement. And this is what the rest of this page kind of shows, but it's not quite working like right my board. That's what it's kind of talking about. Uh, there you go, that's pretty much what I've just said, isn't it, at the top. But it does say here, don't forget your constants. So when I go from the acceleration to the velocity, I'll have a plus C. And if I go from the velocity to the position, oh, then I'll have a plus C. All right, let's see if it goes to work on the next page. So the first example, I've got the position, the displacement, as T cubed, minus 5t squared plus 7t minus 3. I want to find the initial velocity. So that's finding the velocity when t is 0. So I want to differentiate it to get the velocity. So the, my velocity is ds by dt. So if I differentiate t cubed, it's 3t squared. Then I've got minus 10t plus 7. When t is 0, the 3t squared goes, the 10t minus 10t goes, and I'm just left with 7 meters per second. So that's part A done. Part B says find the values of t when the body is at rest. So the body is at rest when the velocity is zero. So what I'm saying is my 3t squared minus 10t plus 7 is equal to zero. I don't think this is going to work. Is it going to work? Kind of. Right, not good. So if I use poly, it gives me t is 1 or t is 7 thirds of a second. Yeah. So that's part B. So let me scroll the board from over near the computer, if you can still hear me. Uh, so I can see the question still. There we go. There. Part C says find the velocity of the acceleration after 3 seconds. So I'm just going to ignore that line in the middle there. Uh, so I'm okay with the velocity. So I will put the velocity at t is 3. So it's going to be 3 lots of 3 squared minus 10 lots of 3 plus 7. So what's that? 27, minus 27 plus 7 is 34. Minus 30 gives me 4 meters per second. Now for the acceleration, I want to differentiate the velocity. So my acceleration is dv by dt. A second differential. So if I differentiate 3t squared, I get 6t, and I get a minus 10. So that's my acceleration. That's an equation for the acceleration. So when t is 3, it's 6 lots of 3 minus 10. So my acceleration is 8 meters per second squared. As a last one for part D, I want to find the acceleration, find the t when acceleration is 6. 
So my a is 6, and I want to find t. So I'm saying that 6t minus 10 is equal to 6. So 6t is 16, t is 8 over 3 seconds. There we go. Now there is a question for you. Hang on, let me scroll this down. So there's a question for you there. So I'll start off with the position, the initial velocity. So remember that my velocity is ds by dt. So differentiate. Uh, and then at rest, I've got v0. Acceleration, so I differentiate my velocity. And then sub it. So hopefully that's okay. I'm going to stop the vid there. And I'll do the next example. Okay, bye-bye.